so this is the equipment for determination of unsymmetrical bending and shear center so shear center experiment we have already done now in this lecture we are going to do the unsymmetrical bending experiment this is the setup we need to set two dial gauges one is left dial gauge we call it left or this is right dial gauge the effective length of this cantilever beam this is a u beam u shape beam or we can say channel section so for this the effective length from the top portion here to here this is 470 mm we can rotate it by 22.5 degree which is we call angular increment okay whenever we will do the uh, unsymmetrical bending experiment we need to rotate this put the load for uh, calculation of deflection in both so first of all we need to put the this u shape beam uh, in this grooves okay and then this is initially 0 degree okay this is the initial position we call it 0 degree position and we can rotate it by 22.5 degree which is angular increment so apart from theoretical calculation how to do the experiment we need uh, different weights this is 100 grams 200 grams 300 grams 400 and 500 grams so for different weights when we initially set the reading in uh, zero in left and right indicator we will apply initially to this this rope initial uh, load we will apply as 100 grams and then we will see the this readings reading in left indicator and in right indicator okay so similarly when we put the 200 grams 300 grams 400 and 500 grams we will note the uh, this deflection readings in both of these dial gauges so similarly we will, uh, we will measure these deflections 400 200 300 400 and 500 grams this is for uh, 0 degree then we need to rotate the experimental setup like we need to lose it now after doing this this can rotate by 22 point like now we can rotate this now this has been rotated by 22.5 because uh, the grooves are set in this that it will be rotating by only 22.5 then 45 67.5 90 and all now it is uh, 22.5 degree okay so, so now we will do the same procedure we will apply the 100 grams 200 grams 300 grams 400 and 500 grams of load and uh, then we will uh, do the calculation later so for 45 degree then we need to rotate again it to this this is this is now 22.5 degree now we will rotate this this is yes this is now 45 degree so again we are going to put the load here and measure the deflection reading so I am doing this experiment I will provide you all these uh, details okay what will be the deflection in left and right uh, dial gaze for different conditions like 0 degree 22.5 45 and 67.5 90 so on up to 180 degree okay so these uh, readings will be used for calculation of deflection u and v so this is all about our experimental setup